Hi, my name is Will Liu and I'm a chef. We're artists, we're musicians, we're communicators, we're leaders, we're teachers, and we're students. So, how do we become a chef? Everyone has a different journey to get there. I'm lucky enough that the artistic world allowed me to get to where I am today, but the scientific world allowed me to talk about something that actually can impact our environments in a scientific, sustainable, and conservative way as well. Conservation efforts are kind of the backbone now of what we want to do with the food that we portray and pushing out the food that we have, sharing that with our community, sharing that with the world, inspiring the cooks, inspiring our guests, inspiring anyone who's willing to look at it, try it, taste it, talk about it, consume it in any format. That's a huge honor already. And to be a chef, to be able to share that with the world is incredible. I think the biggest thing was, you know, always cooking the weekend after school. Parents would always make breakfast, pancakes, eggs, and I would have dinner at my grandparents' house every weekend. So between that time, you know, making breakfast for my parents, the first time is what I remember a very fond memory for, was appreciating people who made me food and realizing that I can appreciate them back by making them food as well and pouring my heart into that effort. The first job I ever thought I wanted to be was a chef. Vividly, I remember that I was like, I'm going to be a chef. As you grow up, you discover so many different things that you're interested in. So I got into music. I played violin. My first paid jobs ever were a paid musician for musicals. Violin started everything, started my, my love of performance, started my love of being able to like translate uh, an emotion, a feeling, something significant through sound, through performance. The big thing is, uh, we're, I think we're so blessed to be in the west coast of Canada where we have some of the most pristine environments in the world. But with that, we need to make sure that we are stewards of the environment as well. No matter how beautiful it is, it's up to us to maintain it. I think the biggest thing that changed my career path was uh, when I was at the Fairmont Pacific Rim. And from there, it was opening the raw bar. And the whole point was how do we turn it into something way more significant, something way more powerful. And, and we really believed in sustainability. Pairing with OceanWise, turning that into the first 100% OceanWise sushi restaurant in all of Canada. It reminded me of how we can actually make meaningful impacts, even in fields that are not related to science. <laughs> It's everyone's prerogative what they want to do with what they cook, how they cook, and there's no one's position to tell anyone what to do. But, it's, but as chefs, as people of positive influence, we have a voice and a message board, and for us using food as a canvas to communicate that 
to inspire people to think a little bit beyond. Can I do something different? Can I make a different choice for what goes on our plate? Can I think less protein, maybe more, you know, more vegetables? When we say conservation, or when we think sustainability, of course we need to preserve the salmon, all the fish out there, the whales, all the mammals that, that exist in our environment and beyond. And especially when we think about the impact we have not just from overfishing or unsustainable practices of harvest, we also need to think about another level where it's like the plastic issue. That is something that um, I don't think we recognize a lot of with our aspect of sustainability. Of course, we can fish less, we can do more things. We need to, you know, we, we need to give fair pay to those who are responsible harvesters out there, fisher folk. Restorative species within the food chain is something that we really need to focus on, right? What is restorative species? Things that are zero input food sources, right? Shellfish, kelp, bivalves, all those kind of things where they filter through the ocean. I think you have to surround yourself with people uh, your family, your friends, people who believe in you, that understand that you're on a mission. And, and that your mission, especially when it comes down to saving and helping and preserving the environment and the integrity of the work that we do as chefs and the artistry that goes behind it, they end up being your biggest fans. We're surrounded by the ocean, mountains, rivers, forest. We actually have an ocean that's our backyard. If we don't take care of it, who's going to? <laughs>